Greetings, class of 2014. This is your former, and may I perhaps say finest, class president the school has ever seen. Now some of you may know me as Otto, the damn man, or prom dress. But I am just the one and only Paul Daniels. Now over the past four years, we have grown together as a strong unified family. One with a lot of drama, especially on Twitter, but a family nonetheless. Now, let's take this time to reminisce about our high school careers over the past four years. Uh, finding out the new rules that they come up with and only uh, watching them last about four to five days. Uh, something I'll miss is definitely like all the people we've met and been going to school with for years and like, a lot of the teachers here too. Uh, I'm gonna miss saluting Mr. DeMello every morning. Well, I miss Jason McWilliam. Probably gonna miss environmental and misabuse the most, I'd have to say. Um, something I'll miss is playing lacrosse, especially. Um, leaving the school every day. Uh, I'm gonna miss the Friday night football games. Yeah, I have to agree with that. Nothing, nothing beats <laughs> Friday night football games. <laughs> I have to agree with that. Uh, I got something I'll miss is that when I used to hang out with Jason in school. Summer vacation. I'm gonna miss pulling into the parking lot every day and just walking the halls. Mr. Robinson's puns and his jokes. I'm gonna miss saluting DeMello every single day, first thing in the morning. Definitely gonna be Norman Everett. Great guy. My friends, Aaron Sylvia doing the afternoon up. We're gonna miss Mr. Muse's life lessons, relationship advice. Yeah. Who we're gonna miss the most? Frank Rosa. Except Nate. I will miss you so much. Senior privileges. <laughs> we don't have senior privileges. Alright, alright. Nylon and Ponica, I'm gonna miss Bobby. Most likely, Miss Davin's smiling face out, uh, walking in the morning every day as she patrols the parking lot. I was always felt safe when she was out there, making sure she was looking out for all of our cars and all of us. It made me feel good every day. I'm gonna miss the arguments between Jake Bullock and Mr. Rise. What will I miss exactly? How much to say is that, you know, the smells, the tastes, the sounds, you name it, all those senses, just smack dab in the middle of education and friendship. That's all I could say. <laughs> well, we all had our laughs, our tears shedded. those sophomores, <laughs> what can you do, you know? They're just ambitious young children. And now we're at that moment when we're adults and uh, we wake ourselves up to the new world. It's truly wondrous. Wearing senior cribs are a myth. Like, try your hardest, but don't sweat the small stuff. Like, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Don't sell brownies in school. You put 100% effort into everything you do, or else you won't become successful. I learned a lot of things at Aponic Fair. Yeah, one thing I really didn't learn though was chemistry. Thanks, Miss Greer. I learned on the France trip last year that me and Jenny Rico can run across the country of Monaco in under an hour. Hey, we're right here. And today on the news, oh, it's on the newscast. Don't ask uh, teachers if they're pregnant when you're not 110% sure if they are pregnant. Something I've learned is that you can climb the ledge. The thing I've learned is that you definitely gotta follow the Beastie Boys and realize that you gotta fight for your right to party. What did I learn, you may ask? I learned that there's a time and place for everything. Never leave your phone or food where anybody can touch it unless you can see them. <laughs> Something that I've learned, um, you know, just never trust girls. Okay, we learned. <laughs> that you should not work out like little things, like one test grade or something like that. It doesn't matter. Just focus on like the bigger picture. Uh, that Maddie Muse is a great teacher. I suck at public speaking. Sorry, Jess. Something that I've learned, this is art. Art. Learn a little bit about earth science. That rocked. Yeah. And uh, biology was worth living. <laughs> Oh, man. And, uh, like I said, math class just, uh, sums it all up. <laughs> Favorite
favorite memory was when my volleyball team was 4 and 20. Oh hey guys, I see you then. What's up? Hey, what's your uh, favorite memory? I got hit by a car, so I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> Definitely a gym volleyball. For sure, yep. My favorite memory was when I got back to school for for being gone for a very long, long time. I think my favorite memory was uh, junior year in my French 3 class. I had a really loose like book rack underneath my chair. And, uh, Josh Scott booted it off the bottom of my chair and <laughs> tried to stuff it in my bag and take it home with me. <laughs> My favorite memory is seeing Jason the green, green, and the whole and, like, my, my favorite memory was freshman year when Jason had the squirrel turn. <laughs> my speech when I ran for president freshman year. And the second one obviously has to be the progress. My favorite memory is definitely going to be winning the SEC championship back to back years with my soccer team. Basically, freshman year, Ms. Crelucio's class. Ms. Greer's class, Ms. Greer's class. Year. Definitely. Best teacher to ever come to a park with. Wish you got to be hired. Full benefits. Uh, my favorite memory is probably sophomore year when uh, one of my shorter friends climbed out the uh, window at the library and grabbed a dead bird. And we put that bird in the library display case for about a week. Oh, that was me. Sorry, Ms. Belanger. The, uh, the, the Bee Gees tour, I did with Josh Newhall. It was a beautiful performance, and we both we were both at the top of our career, both of our prime. It was a beautiful show. Uh, my favorite memory is becoming captain of the winter track team. Doing a uh, Mr. Parker competition. Um, you know, it might not have ended up the way I wanted, but we all know who should have won. I'm looking at you, Aaron. We all know. When I ate Miss Tavares' 501 brownie right off her desk. Well, there's only one memory that kind of warms my heart the most, and I'd have to say that's uh, seeing Paul Daniels run around in a dress at multiple school events. It's really something that's going to stay with me forever, I think. My favorite memory, well, <laughs> there's a lot out there. You know, cat fights, <laughs> mob threats. <laughs> it's a uh, Crazy times we live in nowadays. <laughs> my favorite memory is when I got a detention for my student ID picture. One of my favorite memories is when I walked through those doors for the first time and it said, enter to grow in wisdom. I never knew what those words meant when I walked in the first time. But now, as I leave this building, <laughs> I see depart to serve better mankind. That's all there is to it. That was nostalgic, wasn't it? Ah, if there's anybody I miss, it's Miss Prue. I miss Miss Prue like a fat guy misses dietary pills. But anyways, here's Shark with Poetry. Uh, this is a poem from where I'm from, just like a lot of other Pontiacut students. Where I'm from, I'm from backyard baseball from Wilson Gloves to Nike sneakers. I'm from the woods surrounding my house. Quiet, but crazy. I'm from the grass stains, the wood ticks, clinging to you at any time. I'm from the every Sunday uh, cookouts and laughter. Uh, I'm from Janice and Jim and Jackie. I'm from the crazy holidays and the nonstop cooking. From doing what you love and working hard for everything. I'm from the Catholics that only go to church on holidays. I'm from Taunton, Massachusetts. Barbecue and beers. From the time Jan Jim flipped the boat and Janice flipped the snowmobile in Maine. Above the horizon, I'm from a small town with not much to do, except enjoy the people around you. Uh, thanks, Shark. I think I um, got some in my eye about that. Um, anyways, like they always say, imagination is the key to creation. I just came up with that myself. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Anyways, a message from some of my favorite teachers. Seniors, 
Good luck. I'll miss you guys a lot. Sociology was a wonderful experience this year. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, my advice to you as you go out into the real world is to treat each other with respect and that'll carry you a long way, especially when you're job searching. If you treat people well, they will treat you well in return. So good luck. Hope none of you have terrible college roommates. And I'll miss you very much. Oh, hi. I'm Mr. Mews. You know, over the years I've come to find that time is the most valuable thing that you have. I would suggest not trying to travel from point to point in your life. Make sure you take the time to enjoy the moments as they pass by. It's okay to have a direction, an idea of where you want to go. But I find that if you have both eyes set on your destination, you can't really be looking where you're going at that time. Sometimes it helps to have one eye on the destination, and one eye where you are now. I think that's pretty much it. I think um, the best words of advice that I could give to the senior class would be to look at everything in your life, no matter if it's a difficulty or something positive that happens, as a learning opportunity. Um, I've found that in my in my life, you know, pretty much every stage of my life, um, when I kind of think my life is going to go in one direction or I think it should go in another direction, all of a sudden something will happen to sort of shift that. Um, and what I've learned to do is to welcome that because it really gives you the opportunity um, for growth um, and to move forward in ways that you never thought you would be able to move on. Um, just like John Lennon said, life is what happens when you're busy making plans to do other things. Some words of advice for the senior class. Hmm. Always do what you love, care about the people around you who care about you, and always do your best, no matter what it is you end up doing. And good luck to all of you. Hello seniors! We started together as freshmen here at Aponica, and together we are seniors. Yes, Jackson, you have prepared me well. Some final advice that I have for you. Remember your teachers that worked hard to prepare you for the next chapter of your life and make your Aponica family proud. Hi, class of 2014. Um, I just wanted to say that you guys are so special to me. My husband coached a lot of you on the basketball team. I had quite a few of you two different times. I have your home room. Um, I just feel like you're a class I'm always going to remember. So I hope you all keep in touch with one another. Come back and visit me. Don't forget your English teachers, especially your favorite one. Um, and, you know, Larissa, you're my girl. And Liv, I can't wait to give you your diploma. And I don't know, some of you are just the best kids that I've ever taught. So I wish you the best of luck in the future. And I hope to hear from you. Life is a journey. Enjoy the ride. Deca, deca, deca. Hi class of 2014, I'm Hi. so sad to see you go. I've known some of you since you were little children. I know one of you since you were born. Um, it's been a great pleasure to get to know you and I wish you all the best luck in the future. I agree with her. I really didn't know any of you. I didn't know any of you before you were born. Um, I'm actually very glad you're just leaving and I really wish you the very best of luck. Good luck. Goodbye, class of 2014. I wish you well. I wish you happiness in your homes and in your work and in your readings. Take care. Hi guys, Mrs. Craig here, as if you didn't already know that. It's very hard to believe four years have already gone by. I can't believe you guys are gonna be leaving us. All I can say to you is try as hard as you can to live a life that you love. It's, you only get one chance. You don't get a do-over, and as you all know from our prom pictures um, out in the display case that you've all had fun admiring, um, it, it changes. Things change. It goes by quick. So I wish you all the best. I will miss you all very much. Do not forget us here in the main office. Bye. Well, I'd like to wish the class of 2014 a lot of luck in the future. I hope that you all are successful. I'd especially like to pass these wishes on to the students that I was associated with the ones that were involved in choir and in drama and my personal finance classes. I hope that life turns out the way you want it to be, that you realize that if you work hard you can be successful, 
and that when you are successful, it would be nice for you to come back and share some of your stories of your adventures and your successes with us because we always like to know that what we do on a day-to-day -day basis has some effect on people. So. so good luck to you all, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your lives. All right, class of 2014, first and foremost, congratulations for all your success to this point. Um, I had a good time having lots of you as little sophomores, many of you again as seniors, and uh, one class worth of you guys in there as juniors. Um, Definitely proud of you guys for banding together during some tough times this year. Um, and uh, a special shout out, of course, to my homeroom slash AO slash advisory in 113. Um, not really sure how next year's freshmen are going to uh, compete with your turkey bingo skills and passion. Um, but best wishes to all of you guys. Make sure you keep in touch, and I'm really looking forward to seeing all the great things that you will be doing with your futures. Good luck. We at Pomequitians are known to have a knack for doing all sorts of crazy things. Take that food fight, for example. Nice one, Cam. And now, I'm going to be doing a list of things of all the crazy things we wanted to do here at Aponiquit. Starting off with a chemical shower. Sing your prank fail. Oh, and I just couldn't realize how much that was. What are you doing? Oh, they keep doing that. First time I had, I can't take a shower in six weeks. I don't know, I should just take more. Well, Bonnie, it's been real. Now it's about time for the final slideshow for your viewing pleasure. If you feel like you're gonna cry, do us all a favor and take out the tissues. Adios.
I knew I forgot something. Have a good summer. <laughs>